Hello, Paul Cochran with you from the Harness Racing New South Wales team. We have had a really significant announcement break over the last 24 hours. $15 million in funding announced. You may have seen it on In The Gig last night or in the national newspapers this morning. There is a fair bit of detail in that $15 million though. So I've asked John Dumasy, the CEO of Harness Racing New South Wales, to join me to, I guess, drill down on it, John. $15 million in funding. If you can broadly explain, where does that money go? Well, it goes across the state. It mainly goes into injections into breeding and into prize money. But the 15 million, I must be very clear, it's over three years. Um, Harness Racing New South Wales produced a strategic plan. It's hit all those targets halfway through the strategic plan and now we want to deliver more and the board have carefully looked at it and will deliver guaranteed over the next three years. John, it's a lot of money, $15 million. Where's that come from? Uh, it comes out of um, astute planning, uh, when I say astute planning, containing costs, but the revenue uh, that flowed through during the COVID period, when racing was the only game across the planet at some times, we've been able to accumulate some funds, which we can now distribute wisely, in our opinion, across the industry, primarily in prize money, but injection into breeding over the next three years. Okay, well, as I said, there's a lot of detail in this $15 million, how it's distributed. What we might do is just drill down on some of the, the nuances mm -hmm. of it. Let's start with breeding. Now, tell me about, we've called it Breed New South Wales scheme. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, it's about having a mare in New South Wales and breeding from that mare in the upcoming season. It's, it's the primary goal is to get live foals on the ground. We know the numbers of mares that went to stud last year around about 1,400. We're aiming at a 10% increase on that. And how we get there is um, not simple, but it's a, a method. If you get your mare in foal, positive test, $250. The mare has the foal. Any mare in New South Wales must be physically located in New South Wales, $1,000 on the birth of that live foal. If the sire of that uh, foal was located in New South Wales, there is another $500. So the accumulated effect is that you can get plenty of money. We mustn't forget, we've got the Colonial Stallions bonus, which is already in place, that's $500. So the end result for a, for a foal that meets all the criteria is $2,000 for a live foal. Okay, so astute owners, breeders, trainers, participants across the board, they can really maximise on this initiative that's been announced. They can maximise because the stallions that are already standing in New South Wales are the very best. We produce some of the best horses across the nation. So the opportunity is there. Uh, if I can give you an example, you could breed to a, a, a stallion uh, and some good stallions. The, the sire of the year last year was for a reason. So he, he's on the lower end of the, the scale for, for service fees. Basically, get a live foal on the ground bred from 2022 and you'll get that $2,000. You may break even just on the service fee. Okay. So right across the board, this is great news for the breeding industry really, isn't it? It is. It's never been done like this before. There have been schemes, little schemes. We'll take our colonial, uh, colonial stallion bonus. It's $500 on a live foal to those stallions that meet that criteria. Uh, and all stallions will have to meet a criteria, by the way. But when they meet that criteria, it's $500. That goes towards something. It goes towards paying the sustaining fees, the registration fees, whatever they are. But it goes towards reducing the costs to the breeder. So what we're really talking about is we're, we're expanding on the breeding initiatives but there's a direct correlation then to prize money isn't it? Oh it certainly is. Um, now we in New South Wales clearly look at prize money being part of the extension of, of breeding. Um, you will see bonuses and we have a wonderful bonus scheme here in New South Wales. The best bonus scheme for payments to breeders across the nation. But Rather than put it into bonuses to a greater extent, prize money is where we are focused in New South Wales. So if we just expand a little bit further on that prize money, really one of the big winners out of all of this is the base prize money across the state. Well, it's the grassroots, it's the bread and butter. What we, all, what we will be doing, we'll be increasing the A category races to almost $10,000. So that has been a goal of Harness Racing New South Wales um, since I was uh, became the chief executive here, to reach that, that base prize money at A category meetings at $10,000 we're within one small step away from that. So that's that's really great for, for the grassroots. But what you have 
to remember, and people may say, well, what about the other meetings? 65% of the races conducted are A category races. What happens to the other 35%? Well, well, they still are being paid at seven or near to $7,000. So that's the highest they can possibly go under the National Ratings Matrix Point System. So it, it's, it's not an astute move to raise above that amount. But at almost 10,000, you're just below the next level. So that's where the delivery is. And that's a significant amount of money over three years. Look, I'm a words man, not necessarily a numbers man, but my maths I reckon is good enough to look back somewhere around December 2020. If we look ahead to now, we're at around that 48 to 50% increase on base prize money, aren't we? We certainly are. It was yeah. 6,500 in December for A category in December 2020. Uh, July 1, 2022, 18 months later, it's $9,600 plus the 102% payment that we pay in New South Wales. No one nationally is doing that. Uh, no, certainly. Certainly not the 102%, but, yeah. um, but, but but hopefully the other states will follow us and they will increase their prize money as well. Okay, so that's base prize money. And as you said, that constitutes 65% of the industry. Mm -hmm. Now let's, let's have a look at metropolitan prize money because we've, we've put some, some, really, uh, some key metrics around that too, haven't we? I certainly have. It's been a long time goal of, of Clubman Angle, the administrators out there, Robert Marshall, Bruce Christen, David Watson, and all the board out there to lift the minimum amount of prize money to be paid out at a metropolitan meeting, that will reach from July 1, $20,000. So across the board, they, they run 416 races on a, uh, on a metropolitan meet, meetings over the year. Uh, $20,000 will be the lowest amount of prize money any horse, any race will be conducted for. Okay. And I think it's, it's important to note that this isn't, these initiatives aren't just the brainchild of people who sit around this boardroom table and, and come up with these ideas. This is, this is on the back of consultation, industry discussions, really meeting with stakeholders mm. over the past 18 months and even longer, isn't it? Certainly. We're, we're always being petitioned, but we specifically went out on a couple of uh, projects here. Uh, we went out to the clubs, we went to the road shows, and we said, well, you know, what, what would you like with prize money? We, got, we received feedback there. We specifically went out and asked um, stakeholders what they'd like to see as a funding injection and I'm going back to the breeding for this year's breeding breeding um, season and we got that and we have delivered it had to be um, it had to be sustainable so it's 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 it is a rather large amount of money but it is sustainable that's 1.7 million dollars in the breeding that we're expecting this year and with our target of a 10 percent increase over the next two years it hits six million dollars over the three years so it's a large amount of money uh, and, and it's it's great money but you must breed in New South Wales okay let's have a look back at the prize money side of things just a little bit we've got some marquee events I'll throw some marquee events at you and tell me what, what's happening there. So Breeders' Challenge, what's happening with the Breeders' Challenge? Breeders' Challenge, we went out, we asked participants, uh, what would you like to see? Changes to the conditions from last year. Uh, basically, uh, there weren't many changes that were wanted with the conditions. However, there was a real request to reintroduce the four-year-old Breeders' Challenge. That, came, that comes back into this um, series in 2022. But the True Blue, and, and this re reaches back into that breeding initiative, the True Blue series, we've run those races, uh, the finals, for $50,000. They jumped to $100,000 each for finals in 2022. So True Blue, that's breeding purely in New South Wales. The mare's here, the stallion's here. That's where you'll get, earn some money. Also, those True Blue horses, commencing in 2022, will be there's a top-up bonus of 20% of the prize money that the owners collect in the major series or the regional series or the pathway series, which I haven't spoken about yet, they will get a top-up direct to the winning owners, even the losing owner. Every owner that has a horse that's true blue will get that top-up. So that's a substantial amount of money. But leading into the pathway series, we, we find with the change of the racing calendar that there may be a gap in the middle of the year. May, June and July, where we don't have races specifically for Breeders' Challenge horses. That's a new series which will be introduced. It doesn't come in automatically this year because of the, uh, the, the way we've rolled this out and we want to give people plenty of notice. So in May and June next year and July next year, uh, there are, they are heats in each of the regions into finals at Menangle were $30,000 each. Uh, they aren't for all the horses, there will be conditions built round there to give those horses that may not yet be at the top level 
or are coming through or may never reach the top level. But it's a pathway series and it will certainly deliver across the board to everybody that breeds a New South Wales Breeders' Challenge eligible horse. So it's always about finding ways to make sure that horses and owners and trainers and everyone involved in the industry has opportunities to take advantage of some of the prize money on offer, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. And, and that's the return that we give here in New South Wales. And I, I spoke briefly about the 102%. For any race below $50,000 conducted in New South Wales, we actually pay an extra 2% on what the prize money is. So that is so that everybody, first to last, gets a little bit out of the pie, keeps those horses, in some circumstances, feed for the week or whatever, the travel for the week, whatever, we try to deliver in that respect. Okay. I love the trotters. So what's the impact on the trotters, John? I, I love the trotters too. I, I'm a very strong supporter of trotters. The impact on the trotters is we're putting some real money into two prestige races in association with Clubman Angle. There'll be two. Uh, conversion races is the best way to put it, but we'll, we'll have the um, Maori's Idol Trotters Mile and the Scotch Notch Trotters Mile. They'll both be $100,000 races. Club Menangle are adding to those races. They, they'll have $25,000 time incentives to go to each race. So they're there. We've got the Trot New South Wales scheme. This starts automatically when the, the Trot New South Wales uh, races are run this year. Uh, they were $30,000 finals. They jumped to $50,000 finals. And, of course, we've got two time-honoured events, the New South Wales Trotters Derby and the New South Wales Trotters Oaks. They have been run for $50,000. They will be run for $75,000 in 2022 Okay, fantastic opportunity. So when we talk purely about the prize money, when are we getting to start seeing the impact of this? Uh, July 1. July 1 for the prize money. Uh, the, the breeders' money, of course, this breeding season. It starts from this breeding season, so the money will really start to flow with live foals born that are bred this year. So it, it's there to be one, and there to be had, but it's there to be shared amongst all participants in New South Wales. And, and I just encourage people to become more involved. Uh, we've got a fine product. Our wagering shows that we've got a, a fine product. We talk to the wagering operators across the nation, corporates and the TAB. And I can say that uh, the system we've got in New South Wales is working very well because the returns are certainly flowing through through revenue. Okay, and details of that will start to be released in due course over the next next little bit ahead of that breeding season, won't they? Certainly will. There's a few conditions that we have to pin right down and we'll take more uh, consultation with industry on that to make sure that we get across to everyone what the majority thinks. Nobody can ever deliver to everyone singularly, but the majority position will be taken and, and we'll get to a place. And I think this package, this suite of uh, initiatives, certainly delivers on the input the feedback the submissions that we received at harness racing new south wales so keep an eye on social media keep an eye on the harness racing new south wales website keep an eye on your emails because the, the communication will continue to filter through as this as this plays out john i think this is really important detail to have poured through and drilled down on thanks for your time i feel like people are going to get a little bit more of an understanding of what these 15 million dollars constitutes but it's a fantastic day for harness racing in new south wales really it, it certainly is it um um yes the industry is buoyant. Uh, I, I believe it's the most buoyant anywhere in the nation and we continue to build on that and we can continue to build on it with absolute positivity from the people in the industry. Don't worry about the negative part of it. Just be positive and take everything that's before you. Okay, John, thanks for your time. To everyone out there tuning in, I hope that was informative for you. Keep an eye on our website and our social media. We'll keep, continue to release details uh, in due course. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.